Welcome back to Ayastek. In this video, I will show you how to install WordPress uh, in just few clicks and few steps by using uh, DigitalOcean one-click applications. So you don't need uh, uh, too much experience or uh, uh, too much technical knowledge of servers. Uh, DigitalOcean has made uh, this installation process very smooth and simple for you. So let's uh, begin and uh, uh, let's start creating a droplet. So to install WordPress on DigitalOcean, uh, click on the create button, then uh, click on the droplets and then wait for a few seconds okay again uh, i am going to click on the droplets and okay on this page you have to click on the marketplace and in the marketplace you can see all, uh, all type of application that you can install so these are the recommendation for you but you can uh, click if you click on this button see all marketplace apps then you will see a list of a lot of uh, applications that you can install by just one click so this is very very a useful feature uh, and also time saving feature you don't need to do anything it you just have to uh, click and uh, it will install everything for you by itself so it will install all of the dependencies on your server so now if you uh, see the wordpress here then click here otherwise you can also search from here type wordpress and here you can see wordpress is visible uh, i can just see it here so i will just click from here and uh, when i clicked on that it is showing me some options uh, it's up to you if you want to add these options i'm just going to use simple uh, straightforward approach uh, so here you need to choose the plan just click on the basic plan if you want to use a cheap and reasonable server and then from this option at this time by default it has selected 40 dollars per month just select the five dollar per month and scroll down select the location data center region uh, i'm going to use as, uh, use the default region for now and here you have two options for the authentication one is ssh ssh keys and second is password so if you already have created your ssh key and uh, then you should uh, i recommend this this solution uh, because this is convenient you will not have to type password uh, you can just connect with your server through the, through the terminal without entering any password but right now uh, I'm just uh, showing you this approach by using password in this way you will not have to go over from any extra step about the SSH keys so anyways here you have to type a password I'm going to type a password so here you sh you can write any host name whatever you want it it does not really matter so i am go just going to type wordpress testing and here you should you can select the projects if you have multiple projects in your digitalocean account and next is another very important thing that is enabling back uh, backups so if you want to enable backups then click on this and the benefit of this uh, feature is that it will automatically take backups for you 
after a specific interval uh, i guess it takes backup backup every week so that is very uh, nice feature that uh, because uh, suppose if something happens to your website or uh, if your websites uh, uh, get hacked then you can just uh, uh, recover restore the old version from your backups list so this is important so i recommend to enable backups if you are creating uh, a production website for now as uh, this is just a demo for you uh, so that is why i'm not going to select the uh, backups now click on the droplet create droplet button and wait for some time wait for this progress bar and once it uh, is 100 percent completed we will then uh, test it for further there are a few uh, settings uh, required maybe you will have to go to the terminal so just once only to complete the setup it is almost done you see you did nothing you did not have to install the server you did not have to install the php you don't have to do anything you just install it uh, by using uh, the one click application of the digital ocean so after installation is done you have the ip address copy that ip address and open it in the browser and you can see it is saying something that please log into your droplet with ssh key to configure the wordpress installation so you have to go to the terminal to uh, complete the configuration so click on the terminal and here type ssh root at the rate and type the ip address uh, remove the http protocol from the ip address okay i have pressed enter and i'm waiting for a response okay now type yes okay now it is asking the password that we have set uh, while creating that droplet so let's type the password that you have created earlier okay now it is uh, asking you to enter the domain name that you want to set at this time we are not uh, using any domain name so far now i will not enter any domain name actually i just want to use this ip address i'm not sure if it will allow so let's try let's try if it allows the ip address like this so 192.241 dot one five seven dot one five five press enter okay now it is asking for the email address you can use any email that you want to use i will use just this one now uh, here it is asking for the username that you will use for the wordpress admin so type admin you can use any username for from for now i am using admin username but you can choose any user whatever you prefer now you can enter the blog title now uh, you have to confirm that this information is correct type y now it is asking would you like to use let's encrypt uh, to configure ssl for your new site it's up to you if you want to enable uh, SSL certificate then press Y and follow the instruction if not then just press N I am pressing enter for now okay you can see that a uh, uh, configuration is done 100% and uh, uh, it made some changes and after that it is saying that installation is completed access your new WordPress site in the browser to continue so once you see this message go back to your browser and reload your web page from this button and see all right you can see that our brand new wordpress website is uh, live now and uh, configured properly you can uh, now do whatever with your website you can also go to the admin panel if you want i have added 
the username so i will use the same username that you have entered in the terminal earlier during the configuration and use the same password uh, okay Uh, you can see that now we are inside the admin panel of the wordpress so you have now full control admin panel and everything is working fine so next step uh, uh, in the next step it's up to you if you want to go further from here you can uh, uh, buy a domain name you can link your domain name with this uh, uh, IP address and uh, you might want to show your website like this to you dot your website dot com uh, So if that's a that's the case then I will record another video for you where you will see how to link your uh, Domain name with an IP address. So with that video you can learn how to do that So for now, this is all I wanted to show in this video Thank you for watching my video Please like, comment, share and also don't forget to subscribe my video and also click on the bell icon if you don't, don't want to miss any of my videos. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you later. Bye.